What brand are you loyal to and why? Fisher Price. I bought a baby swing at a second-hand market. It was about five years old but it still worked great. Only, when we set it up at home, I discovered it was missing the waist straps that form part of the harness. On a whim, I called up Fisher Price and asked if there was some way to order the straps. The customer service person looked up the serial number of the swing and immediately sent me a new set of straps free of charge. When I asked why they were sending me new straps, even though I had been honest and told them I had gotten the swing second-hand, I was told that Fisher Price is dedicated to the safety of babies and children and that they will always back up their products, no matter how old they are or how they were bought. It may be an image thing or a liability thing but I was honestly blown away by the level of customer service they offered. It's not a brand per se, but there is a tire place in my hometown called Just Tires who I will forever sing the praises of. My mom has those expensive low profile tires. She went there once wanting to buy two then come back next payday and buy the next two because she couldn't afford to buy all four. Now the owner sees her tires and they are bad. He says he cannot in good conscience let my mom drive on bad tires and let's get pay for two but take all four, trusting her to come back and pay for both. Which she did. Fast forward a month and it's my turn to get tires and he gives me a quote for his cheapest brand. He finds out that he missed the sale of the cheap brand and didn't have more. Puts the good tires on my car and sells them to me for the price he originally told me I'd pay. I'm always going to go there for new tires. Edit. Removed crappy. From description of my mom's low profile tires. They aren't crappy themselves but bad for the area we live in. We have too many potholes around for that. Esto 2, the particular shop I went to is in Huntington, West Virginia for everyone asking. I can't reply to everyone asking lol. Still, my dad once bought a commercial still weed eater for use around his property. It's a two-cycle engine so it takes gas mixed with oil. Dad did not know this. He ran it on straight gas until it locked up. The still technician who fixed it told him it would either last a week or a lifetime. No telling. That was 30 years ago and it still runs great. All the outdoor stuff I buy is still. Asterisk still runs great. Thank you Dick Nipples. Richard Ariola. Pilot G2 pens. Black. 0.38 M Monsieur they're just perfect pens. Smooth. Feel good in the hand. Love the pocket clip that I fidget with in meetings. If I had one recommendation it'd be to make that clip stronger as I break them on pretty much all my pens. G2s are simply the best. Patagonia. I ripped a pair of long johns after approximately 5 years of wearing them. So I sent them in. Patagonia no longer made that style of capoline anymore. So instead of sending me a new pair they sent me my money back. I took that money and bought a new fleece. I have sent them jackets with holes and broken zippers and they come back fixed within a few weeks. Phenomenal customer service. Patagonia also reuses all old fabrics in order to keep the environment clean. Kirkland. I've never been disappointed. Quality product for reasonable price. Kirkland vodka greater than equals Grey Goose. Anchor. Anytime anything has gone wrong they have immediately fixed it. Usually sending out a replacement cable, battery, speaker without needing the faulty one back. Anchor is because the products are high quality. They have great customer support and you can write AW in front of the logo. Adidas because most of their products are comfortable and because I'm Slavic. Good Slav. Fiskars all I'm saying is lifetime warranty on everything. I broke a brand new Fiskars axe because I was beating on it with a sledge. Emailed them a picture and said I probably got a little too frisky with the sledge and not to worry about sending a new one, just to maybe advertise that the product shouldn't be used for heavy wood splitting. I had a new axe delivered in under a month. No questions asked. What sort of an animal uses a sledge to aid in wood splitting? Someone splitting wood like Elmer Sycamore.
Of course you're probably better off using the sledgehammer to drive in splitting wedges instead of the axe. It might work a little bit better since that's their intended use. Patagonia Yvonne Chouinard, the owner and past CEO, built a company that respects its own workers. Their HQ has free yoga, an organic cafe, free child care. They allow workers to set their hours and even go surfing every day. They also set strict standards for the environmental and the ethical impact of the materials used for production. Another CEO made this statement about Patagonia. They've shown that you can build a profitable business while thinking about the environment and thinking about your team and community. Google Patagonia and read about them as a company. It should be the model for any businesses in the United States. Old Bay, for gracing these lands with a wonderful seasoning. Asterisk Maryland intensifies, asterisk, Don dish soap. It never fails to get dishes clean and other dirt grease, and grime off. NyQuil. No other medicine I've tried others. Nothing helps me sleep like NyQuil when I'm sick. Dawn is the shit. Also good for getting rid of fleas on dogs and stains out of carpet and fabric. 10 years ago, Blizzard. RIP. 10 years ago, Bethesda. RIP. 10 years ago, Bioware. RIP. Never. EA. RIP. Petzl. Extremely well-made life support equipment. They are the masters of caving equipment. Even though they center their brand on raw climbers nowadays. Selling to climbers equals equals dollar dollar dollar. They don't use cheap materials for accessory components like Black Diamond does. I also really like Romer for their bolt hangers and bolting hammers. Edit. I also fucking love me some pretzels. Removed. Yup. This company's lifetime commitment is real loved listening to their story on how i built this podcast i too have a commitment to removed to be honest most of the bigger names in an rei or any mom and pop outfitter are gonna be pretty outstanding on customer service i've sent in patagonia mountain hardware marmot keen and merrill items for customers and 99 percent of the time they repair or replace the item for free my father-in-law trashed a pair of boots from Merrill through legitimate hard use. And he sent them in for repair and they just sent him a free pair. Said they expected more from their shoes. I'm cracking up imagining them having a sit-down talk with these shoes about how they've been a disappointment and have let them down and brought dishonor on them all. Carhartt their clothing is awesome and really great quality. Edit. Holy shit. This blew up in my first gold and silver. Thank you kind strangers. Yes. I have a Carhartt hoodie I bought when I was in trade school in 2012. It went through trade school. A sprinkler making job. An aluminum cladding factory. And in 2020 I still have it and it doesn't have a single hole in it. I'm shocked the aluminum cladding factory didn't ruin it. I had so many pinpricks in my clothing from the sharp edges. Band 8. The quality of those products are so far beyond the competition that we don't call them bandages anymore. Honda, Outboard, CRV, Snowblower. They just work all the time. My CRV is awesome to drive. My Honda Snowblower does things none of my neighbors can come close to. It was three times the price though, but I'm not trying to die from shoveling. Darn tough sucks. They're just awesome in every way and worth every penny. Wondered when I'd see Honda. Drove my 2004 Civic X to 210k miles. Sold it for 2,700. And bought a 2016 Civic Touring. Never had to do anything to the old Civic other than brakes. Oil. Routine stuff. Hopefully the new Civic is just as reliable. Compared to my wife's Nissan Rogue which has had transmission problems and AC issues. It's night and day. I'll be trying to convince her to spring for something Honda for her next vehicle. A long while ago when I was a mechanic. I had a new client come in for service. Client said that they just found out that they needed to do something called an oil change. Explained to client that oil changes are regular service. Etc. 
I asked how long since their last one. They replied, well, never. I didn't know it was a thing. I asked how long they had the car. They said since new. So, a brief inspection showed they had, in fact, never had an oil change. When questioned about what happens when the oil light comes on, they thought that it just meant you had to pour a little in the engine until the light went off. The car, a 1997 Honda Accord with 240,000 miles. It solidified for me that Hondas are fucking tanks. Klein had never serviced their car in the 240,000 miles they drove it. And it still ran. It kinda ran rough. But it ran. Trojan condoms two kids without the monsieur no kids with the monsieur keep that monthly delivery coming. Reminds me of an ad by a condom company. I forgot which. Which went is. To all our competitors. Happy Father's Day. Edit. It was Durex. Snip snap. Zenheiser headphones. And color fab 3D printer filament. Edit. I've also recently got associated with Milwaukee Tools and it's growing on me. Heinz ketchup, nothing else tastes right. Have you tried putting it on stuff like burgers and hot dogs? No, just a large glass for me please. No ice. That's too bad. There's an entire subreddit for just ice served. Are justice served. Edit. Thanks for the award. Unfortunately I can't take credit for this joke. Google, because I have already sold my soul to them and there is no way back. I've heard IKEA treats their their employees like human beings so that it alone puts them higher than most other big corporations I've heard of. Nintendo because I love playing their video games and I grew up playing Nintendo games. I now realize the potential R. Hail corporate vibe this post is giving off. Start one for worst company. Cause I want to bitch about GE for a while. Victorinox is my go to Swiss army knife. They make some damn good kitchen knives too. Dario, Great strings. M. Nivea for men range. My skin feels so good and my face looks younger. Aha. Uh -huh. I have the whole range. Body creams and wash. To face shaving stuff and moisturizers. Sunblock. Etc. It's relatively cheap compared to other stuff. I also, for no reason will wear only Adidas for my relaxed wear and gym wear. I just like the fit and style I guess. Get my inner slob on. I've used Nivea moisturizer since I was 15. That was was 27 years ago. I constantly get told I look early to mid 30s. I'm 42. I don't know if there's a correlation. But I reckon it's worked. Also, I'm a guy. Burt's Bees specifically the chapstick. Cause it works. Columbia I have four of those fleeces and a jacket and I've had them for a while. Indomie noodles, NASCO cornflakes. They'll always be the best to me. Thank you for your loyalty to Indomie. D. I'm from Indonesia and we take Indomie seriously here. We only eat Indomie. Not instant noodles. Klein tools. Volvo. Specifically 240 245ths My current one is an 89 wagon I bought 9 years ago for $800. Heated seats. Power windows. Cruise control. It's my 7th since I started driving in 1986. Edit. Why? I can do 90% of the work myself. The parts are not expensive. No computer. And it does wicked donuts. I never understood why adults got so sentimental about their first cars until I got a 90s Volvo station wagon when I was 21 had to get rid of it at 23. Single quote. I don't know much about cars. But my neighbor taught me how to check oil and stuff. And I enjoyed watching her navigate under the hood. For a while my starter was weird and I sometimes had to pop the hood and whack it with a hammer. I miss it, I'm 25 and in a walkable city now but if when I get another car, I want to get another Volvo. Lafroix single malt whiskey, thanks very much. Lagavulin, first one I ever tried and nothing has beat it since. It'll always be my favorite. Ardbeg, Lafroix and Lagavulin lie in the same coast on Isla. They're even on the same road. Coincidentally, they're my three favorite single malts. 
IDKY but Adidas and North Face have always been my two brands, I rarely wear anything else. I also love Adidas. I can't help myself. I hate that I work in an office where I have to dress fairly businesslike and I cannot feel at all comfortable in anything that is actually work appropriate. Adidas has a golf collection with stuff that totally counts as business casual and is comfy. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.